this because you know I've been making more of an effort to learn about sports. Oh, okay. You got a sports okay. thing? I have a sports thing. I think you're going to like it. Uh, the American Airlines Arena in Miami, that's where the Miami Heat play. Mm -hmm. I learned that because check this out. So they're reopening to a limited number of fans. And here's what they're doing. They're bringing in dogs, COVID sniffing dogs to make sure that you don't have COVID before you come into the arena. What does COVID smell like? Uh, apparently it smells like something Appar apparently it smells awful or it smells like something that a dog can pick up in your sweat okay mm -hmm. so it's interesting like this is the team this team uh the miami heat they're the first in the nba to be using canines to screen the public now here's how it's going to go so fans are going to line up in a screening area the same way you do like a tsa it's just going to be like another so you go through and they make sure you don't have any weapons <laughs> i guess mm -hmm. or i don't know what they do at tsa um, and then you go to an, the next area. It's a screening area. It's socially distanced dots. You keep your hands at your sides and the dog walks over to you and sniffs you up and down. If the dog keeps walking, you're clear to enter. If the dog sits next to you, that means you have COVID and you and your entire party get a refund and an escort out the arena. <laughs> right to the hospital. Right uh, to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you get to go to the hospital. See, I hate that because they have dogs at the airport and mm -hmm. they're really cute dogs and it has on them, do not pet. Right. So you can't pet the dog and you want to pet the dog, but you can't pet the dog. So, yeah, the, the so do not torture. pet thing is like such a tease. It's almost like putting candy out and going, do not eat. And the dog is looks, he looks all happy. You don't just want to pet him going, good boy. But no, they're going to arrest you if you do that. But I didn't think dogs could actually smell that. It's interesting because, you know, they have dogs that smell cancer. And they have dogs that smell if you're going to have a sugar crash, like if you have an insulin crash, if you're diabetic. Mm-hmm. Um, there's actually seizures. There's seizure sniffing dogs. I mean, they dogs can smell like it's something like 10 million more times than we can. I don't know what the number is. I just made it up, but it's a lot more than we can. They've trained dogs to sniff if somebody's about to have a seizure. I guess there's a change in your sweat and in your blood system, and the dog can sniff those changes. And then the dog will like nudge you to go sit down or bring you over a treat, something mm -hmm. to eat in case your sugar's dropping or whatever. So it doesn't, it makes sense to me that they've trained dogs to sniff COVID. It's a disease. I mean, it's a disease like any other and it's in your sweat. I wonder if they have more than one dog. They have, you know, dogs at different entrance ways. And if one dog is better than the other dog and they have a few of them. I mean, this is based on, so in Germany, they have eight dogs that sniff COVID and this is how it all started because the Germans have been able to determine if somebody has COVID Mm -hmm. Somebody who won't get a test, somebody who won't wear a mask, that kind of thing. They've been using these dogs, these eight dogs that sniff COVID, and they're mostly right there. I mean, it's not a perfect science, but, you know, they're they're right more than a test is, is what they're finding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of sticking that thing up my nose, just go get a dog. You know, and you can, what you can do is, like, if there's somebody you really don't like who's at the game, you can stick, like, you know, a sausage in mm -hmm. your pocket. In their back pocket. And the dog would be like, yeah, and the dog would be like... I'm sniffing this person. Yeah, if the guy in front of you, you don't like that guy, you put a snossage in his back pocket when he's not looking. What they really need in Miami, though, they need cocaine-sniffing dogs. I wonder if dogs double as that. Is it a drug <laughs> dog that gets trained to, sm to sniff COVID, or is it a, a different type of dog? So totally different. Totally different job. So totally if you have you heroin on you, the dog doesn't smell that, but it will smell the COVID. You can only sniff one. If you're a dog, you don't. You only sniff one thing. I'm sorry, I do COVID. <laughs> you don't. I, do, I, don't I can't. I'm sorry. It's I know you. Else. I know you want me to do cancer. I can't. I only do. I only do COVID. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to tell you that this guy's going to pass out and die in five minutes, but he doesn't have COVID, so I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Not my job. <laughs> right. He's got a gun and heroin, but I I, I can't tell Not you that. Not what I'm being paid for. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs>